typically aesthetics we reserve to the end of the podcast. Uh, you, you humor me <laughs> over the years as I'm obsessed with this shit because I am a graphic designer by trade, but the look and the look of baseball uniforms, baseball logos, usually it's a very ancillary subject, but somehow right now, the uniforms in Major League Baseball are probably the number one story in MLB as uh, Fanatics and Nike combined to release a brand new uniform chassis, they call it, that is pretty much hated by everyone that has laid eyes upon it. Players, fans, everyone uh, are just completely trashing these these new uniforms. I've seen pictures. I haven't seen a whole lot. I haven't like Tigers games have not. Uh, spring training games have not been on TV, so I haven't seen them in action. But I've seen the photographs. Yeah, a lot of them are are poorly lit. Uh, so some of the issues could be because of that. But but they do. They just they look like shit from everything I've seen, and they they sound like they're cheaply made. They have gotten rid of embroidered patches. Uh, they've made the names on the backs of the uniforms much smaller. The numbers are a little bit smaller. The material, I guess, is a supposed to be a lightweight. Uh, wicking material which basically what they're what they're trying to do is create the lightest weight uniform possible they're, they've decided that they want to uh basically forego aesthetics for performance uh they 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 think that the lighter uniform is what the players want and somehow something got lost in translation because the players are just as upset as anybody about how they're looking and feeling in these you know i've heard them compared to like not even replica jerseys. They're like the giveaway jerseys that have like iron on iron on printing. It's just, it's just a, such a bad look. And it's just amazing that Nike and even fanatics can be involved with this. doesn't surprise me that MLB could fuck this up somehow, but that Nike would, would risk their reputation on something like this is, is crazy. You know, the players are, are complaining about it. I've got a bunch of quotes here from different players. I think the names look really bad, honestly. An unnamed Cardinals player. He wouldn't put his name <laughs> to it. I don't know why he was scared to say that. It looks like a replica. Taylor Ward of the Angels. I like the old ones. Tommy Kin- Canel? Yankees? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> the pants they made are terrible. An yeah, unnamed not... Tigers player. <laughs> yeah, the pants are the big, one of the bigger issues. Yeah. I mean, you heard, and you then heard you too get... they couldn't even get the pants, right? Did you hear about well, that? There's more. Yeah, there's much more to this. Yeah, the pants, yeah. the pants are an issue on several levels. Uh, first of all, they don't have enough pants available. Apparently, there are supply chain issues. Uh, so teams have encouraged players to wear their pants from last year. Yes. Uh, which is, is just unreal. The other Classic. issue with the pants is that they're essentially see-through, uh, which is a disturbing idea. Uh, I mean, we want we always cry for transparency in our organizations, but we don't want transparency in our team's uniforms. I mean, they're, they're so cheap. We will be able to see their balls. Yes. You can't somebody see else. It. Somebody else pointed out like what's going to happen during the first rainy game. <laughs> like we're seeing games in pristine Florida and Arizona. Uh, I hate to think what's what we're going to see in an NC 17 rain game. It's, it, it's, it's hilarious that these, these questions are even coming up. It's to the point now where the MLB Players Association has stepped in. Tony Clark is demanding that they go back to the old uniforms before the season starts, or they have something something new delivered to them in time for the season. So this story is not over. I mean, it is, as preposterous as it is, it, it's only the beginning. We we are we are seeing we are seeing many twists and turns in this, and I, I don't know where it's going to end. I I think they might end up having to go back to last last year's uniforms, which would just be a colossal disaster for, for Nike. The other part of this rollout had to do on the consumer side, and that's where Fanatics is also involved. I don't know if you've noticed over the last several years, Fanatics has basically taken over the entire sports merchandising industry. Yep. If you go to MLB.shop or the NFL's shop or any major leagues shop, that's all run by Fanatics. So every every t-shirt, all, all that shit is basically manufactured and sold to you by fanatics. Fortunately, caps are still held. The official caps of baseball are still held by new era, which that the quality of the caps has not changed whatsoever. Thank God. But you know, fanatics is also selling the authentic jerseys. 
uh, Nike has come up with actually three levels. There used to be, you should be able to get the authentics and a replica that, that's across all sports, but they've added a, th- a middle tier to that, which I don't fully understand. But the problem is all, even the authentics are of worse quality than replicas <laughs> used to be. So right. at the same time, the authentic Jersey, now I'm not a Jersey guy. I bought, I have got a couple baseball jerseys, but I haven't bought a, a good Jersey in like 15, 20 years almost. Yeah. I thought the high end of jerseys is about $200. I used to buy hockey jerseys. Like I have authentic, authentic wings jerseys with the tie downs and, and everything that I think I spent 200 bucks on. Did you know the current jerseys, authentic baseball jerseys are $450. Seems a I mean, little you, steep. I can't imagine spending. What's that? Seems a little steep. Yeah. I can't imagine spending that on anything. Like, even if it was, you know, the old awesome jerseys that had real embroidery and everything. I can't imagine paying for these pieces of shit, $450. So there's some weird shit happening here. And I, there's, there's going to be a lot more to this story before, before the end of the spring training. You know, I think uh, they did this with football a couple years ago. There were like, did they? yeah, there's like the authentic Jersey. Then there's like this mid tier one where some of the stuff okay. is stitched on and some of it's not. And then there's the full on where everything's like ironed on. Yeah. So, well, th- that's probably where they got this idea from, yeah. from the NFL. who was the Kings of milking every penny out of, out of their fans. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is Im- such an embarrassing moment. Yeah. Fanatics I don't know who is, to blame. If it's- I-, I would blame fanatics probably somehow. I mean, they bought tops too. They like, they like own almost. They, they, they bought probably, majestic. Yeah. Yeah. They want, majestic, they own, they own they everything. Tops. I mean, they, they've, they've basically have absorbed key, all the key areas of sports. When this is the danger of monopolies, they control the entire market. They can late give you a shit product and make you take it. And actually the major league baseball players are feeling the brunt of that right now, which is unreal. Word Hole Media.